Hi, I'm Murray Hallam, and I've been so fortunate in travelling the world looking at aquaponics farms in all sorts of climates, cold climates, hot climates, and wonderful, even climates. And I just want to tell you that I feel that aquaponics is the most wonderful thing because of the possibilities. The possibilities are endless. We can grow wonderful, healthy, chemical-free crops in old disused warehouses, on old disused tennis courts, concrete pavements. We can grow it in the deserts. We can grow it in the tropical jungles uh, where we might not be able to grow food because the soils are depleted. The possibilities of growing aquaponics anywhere and producing wonderful chemical-free food are almost endless. This is a technology for this time. The value of aquaponics is in the fact that it is pure food. It is grown in an ecosystem. Now, not only is it economically viable because of the increasing number of people around the world who are prepared to pay for better quality food. That's one end of the value. The other end of the value is in social value. For example, building aquaponic systems in desert areas where people just simply can't grow fresh veggies and fish any other way as efficiently as you can in an aquaponic system. That is extreme value, both financial, social and ethical value. The ethical value goes down to the fact that we are growing things in a system that will not harm the environment in any way, shape or form. We are not using synthetic chemicals in the form of pesticides or fertilizers. So aquaponics has got great value in those three areas. So what is the concept of aquaponics and how does it work? Very briefly, we grow fish and plants together. We provide both um, really good protein and also wonderful vegetables. So in brief, without getting too technical, what we do is we have a tank with fish in it, and this can be on any scale, it can be a small system at a home, or it can be a large farm. So we have fish in tanks, we pump the fish water out of the tanks through various styles of grow beds where we grow vegetables. What do the vegetables do? The vegetables extract the nutrients out of the water and return the water fresh to the fish. So we have a closed loop ecosystem that is just so wonderful and it works so astonishingly well. This is the wonderful thing about aquaponics. This is what sets it apart from other methodologies that are out there because aquaponics is actually derived from the best of both aquaculture and hydroponics and we don't have Many of the problems that are experienced by both those other technologies. For example, hydroponics. We don't need to dump water. We simply don't need to do that. And in places where water is such a precious thing, which quite frankly is almost all over the earth now, but in places where it's particularly a problem, we don't want to waste water by dumping water into the environment somewhere. Even if we put it in a containment tank, it's not the same. We keep the water circulating at all times in an aquaponic system. And that's the same thing with aquaculture. That's the growing of fish in tanks or in ponds. When you grow fish in tanks, typically you have to dump about 10% of the water every day. We don't have to do that in aquaponics. So they're two of the great advantages. And we grow our vegetables and our fish in a natural environment that makes it healthier for the humans to eat, that's us, makes it much healthier for us and healthier for the plants and the fish. You will be absolutely astonished at the quality of the yield. The quality of the produce is just amazing. And that, once again, I hate to keep saying it, but we go back to the fact that we're growing this in as natural a system as we possibly can. So that the plants have the opportunity to take up all the minerals that are needed for the great plant health and for our wonderful health when we consume them. And the same applies to the fish. Do you know, it's very rare to get sick fish in an aquaponic system. It's rare, you hardly ever see it. And that's because we're trying to employ, at all times, natural processes. So the quality of the produce is absolutely amazing. You can see around me and behind me here, the deep dark green of the produce, and it just grows so wonderfully well. And we haven't had to put a whole lot of chemicals into it, like other processes do. We are just relying on natural processes.
Aquaponics is based on solid science. Solid scientific um, research has been carried out on aquaponics for more than 30 years. So we can develop and build systems that are based on solid formula and solid um, boundaries which we outlay to make the system work exactly the way it's intended to be. Now whilst we're working with nature, we are beginning to understand more about how Mother Nature works and the microbes, the protozoa, the bacterium, the fungi, all these things that operate in a natural environment are encouraged and developed in an aquaponic system. And we do this based on science so that we can be assured of a very positive outcome. The beautiful thing about aquaponics is it's perfectly scalable. The rules that apply to a home system, a small home system, the same rules extrapolated become applicable to a large farm. And you know the wonderful thing about it as well? Take a look at this particular farm. One of our designs being built by one of our wonderful students in Hong Kong and now been running for several months, in fact a couple of years I've got to be honest. And this farm produces right now at this very moment over 60 different vegetable crops at the same time. Now that is something that is absolutely impossible in a hydroponic system. It is just wonderful. So this caters extremely well to niche markets and specialty markets like we have in Hong Kong that this farm has developed where Madam wants to buy the best quality material, best quality produce for her family and she can get a great variety that's grown in this wonderful farm. So it's particularly applicable to small to medium enterprises. We honestly believe we're going to see an absolute outburst of small to medium farms around the world in aquaponics. As people become more aware of food miles and buying food locally, we're going to see loads and loads of small to medium enterprises. In fact, it's happening right now. It's starting to develop right now. So let's summarise. Aquaponics is environmentally responsible. Like no other farming method we have at the moment, it's environmentally responsible. It's water wise. An Australian researcher has shown that you only use 10% of the water to grow the same plants as you would if you grew them in a regular soil farming environment. Now that's amazing because the only water you use is what the plants actually use. That's what should happen if you're running your aquaponic system absolutely correctly. It is environmentally responsible. We're not spraying synthetic chemicals around the place. We're not adding synthetic fertilizers to the, to the system. We don't need them. We can do it without them. It's socially responsible. And in today's climate where we're, the whole world has become very, very aware of the need to protect our climate and our environment from pollution and other things, this is without a doubt the farming method of the future. And I've got to tell you, it's here right now. The farming method of the future has arrived and it's called aquaponics.